Professor Felix Padel, a sociologist and anthropologist. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you so much for inviting me. Thank you. Uh, dear Felix, as you know, the Freedom for Öcalan and Political Solution for Kurdish Question campaign has started on the 10th of October and it has been started from 74 different places of the world. And this campaign is global. So let's start with how important uh, is this new campaign? How important to have a new era, a new campaign? What's the importance of that? movement now. Thank you so much. The importance has never been more than it is now. Uh, for one thing, what is happening in Gaza has the whole world attention and we can talk about the similarities of the Palestinian and Kurdish situations, but the at least the world media is on the Palestinian situation and it's not on the Kurdish situation. Well, Turkey has occupied large parts of northern Syria and Iraq, and it's also as in the Palestinian situation. People are remembering now the details of the Balfour Declaration and the complicity of the British government of that time. But people forget the Sykes-Picot Agreement and the Treaty of Lausanne, which was in 1923, the Lausanne Treaty, and that's 100 years. and. Uh, that established the present borders. So, as, as you know, and as people know, what Ojana has made repeated calls for solving the Kurdish question and peace movements. And really, nobody has the kind of knowledge and the breadth of understanding, like the with his roadmap for peace, it, it respects Turkish, Turkish territorial integrity, the borders of Turkey, but also asks for ways that Kurdish self-determination can be implemented within existing borders. So I think there has never been a more important time for for calling for his release. Secondly, uh, let's talk about the Öcalan situation as well. Um, what are your concerns of the current treatment of Abdullah Öcalan? Uh, the isolation still continues on him. So what is your comments on isolation of Öcalan? And do you think this is against human rights? Why Turkey is uh, applying this isolation to Öcalan? Why EU is still keeping silence against this uh, isolation? and um, the bridge of human rights as well. So very shortly, very briefly, can you talk about this important issue as well, the isolation? Thank you. Yeah, the isolation is very worrying, especially because there's no um, meeting with his lawyers or family or even any sign that he's still alive and the other three prisoners on Imradali Island. Um, I... I was I visited his lawyer's offices in Istanbul in early 2020, so that's nearly uh, three four years ago. And at that time, they they were still very worried about um, contact. But si since that time, since I last met his lawyers, just no contact, and that goes against all the uh, European standards that um, Tur Turkey is signatory to. Uh, I think the reason that the EU has gone silent is frankly because their eyes are on other conflicts like in Ukraine or in Gaza. And, uh, you know, the isolation is very worrying in, in these terms when, when other things are happening in the world. Nevertheless, you know, he is a man of peace and key to the peaceful resolution of the peace process in in the whole Middle East, really. Thank you, Felix. Also, um, we can talk about the Öcalan and his role as well. How important figure is Öcalan? Do you think he has a key role to play uh, for peace in the Middle East and bring peaceful solution to the Kurdish question as well as this uh, slogan is the campaign's slogan as well. So, uh, peace in the Middle East and a uh, peaceful solution for the Kurdish question is related with the Öcalan's freedom. So how would you going to evaluate that? Thank you. Well, I'm a sociologist and uh, Öcalan in, in 
Away is one of the world's finest sociologists in his writing, and it's also with a practical application that his model or paradigm of democracy has been implemented in Rojava and as well as in, you know, areas of Iran, Syria and Turkey and also Iran where, um, you know, the the slogan Gian, Gian Azadi, life, women and freedom has been um, the slogan within Iran. It's also the slogan that is based upon Ojalan's understanding. Um, so, you know, his, oh, it, it, to me, it, as, a, as a historian and as an anthropologist, the model of democracy he has created is something the world just needs to learn from if, if the world is ever to wake up from the cycles of, of conflict we see at the moment. Just to underline the new campaign again, uh, what else needs to be done to grow the campaign and make it uh, to spread to more large number of people? And how would you will support the campaign? What will you do? What is your suggestions to make this campaign more efficient? Thank you. It's a very difficult question because, as you will know, so many hundreds of people in different countries have been calling for it. A week ago, prisoners all over Turkey went on hunger strike to demand the release. And trade unions in many countries are active. I think there's a need for more um, politicians in every country here in the UK and in other countries to become aware and to speak out on the issue. Trade unionists are doing so. They can do so more. I think the role of journalists, writers, intellectuals, artists, people in all walks of life just need to talk about it more. You know, we are talking. The Palestine situation has brought people in thousands onto the streets. We need to see this kind of enthusiasm and love for liberty um, shown in, in, in support of the Kurdish situation too, which has in some ways a more enlightened leadership and affects a larger number of people even than the Palestinian situation. Lastly, very shortly, briefly, what is your support message to the campaign as well as Freedom for Öcalan message? Well, my call is to free Öcalan as a way towards a political solution of the Kurdish question. And for people everywhere to wake up to the enormity of what Ojalan offers in terms of his understanding of society processes, of democratic processes and, and peace processes, that he has given such a clear roadmap towards peace. Um, please, everybody in the world, wake up and support this call for his freedom. Um, so why Öcalan should be free, if you can mention that as well? It, it's such a fundamental um, human right for him to be freed from this isolation and such a political need for him to be freed from the incarceration and the isolation on Imrali to begin to solve the enormous problems that are facing um, the whole, all the Kurdish regions in Turkey, as well as Iraq, Syria and Iran. Thank you, dear Felix, Professor Felix Padel, a sociologist and anthropologist. Thanks for joining us and thank you for your valuable comments today. Thank you so much for inviting me and uh, Azadi for Ojalan. <laughs>